my hair was blonde and my skin was pale, she would have stopped and talked to me for about 30 minutes. Bring it out. But because she see real men standing up telling her to choose what, we ain't even telling you that, hey, you know, it's up to you. We telling you according to God, what? choose life. Myself. They always tell me, walk by faith, not by sight. You need to repent, brother. But then when you ask them how, they can't tell you. The most high God ordained his prophets with the understanding to tell you how you need to do so. That's right. Read. First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Bring it out. If they sin against thee. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. Have everybody sinned? Do you believe everyone has sinned? Oh yeah? What is sin? What's your name, bro? What's your name? Dennis. Dennis? I'm Elisha. Nice to meet you, Dennis. Say you don't know. That's great. Because a lot of our people would think and say whatever we want because we feel like, oh, well, that's what I feel like in my heart. The good news is the Most High God left us what we need to know. So I'm going to tell you what sin is according to the Bible. All right? Bring it out! First job! Chapter 3 and verse 4. Come on. Get out. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is what? Sin is the transgression of the law. The transgression or the breaking or the going against God's law. So what did the Bible say sin is? It said Dennis, right? right. What's sin? Breaking of God's law. The breaking of God's law. You say you believe that everyone has, has sinned, correct? So you believe you sinned? What type of law? So that means you agree to understand that you broke some of God's law. What are some of God's laws you believe you broke? Well, I really don't want to say right at this moment. But let's take my word. So I, I'm, what, are, what are some of God's laws then? Let me ask you that. God's laws is, uh, shall not steal. Shall not steal. Shall not kill. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, killing go back to 7%. That's a little shaky on that. But, uh, I don't know. I can't really come up with it all right now. Have you ever stole before in your life, Oh, yeah. So, understanding that stealing is wrong, what should you do then? Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. Bring it out. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Right. So repentance is for who, according to the Bible, then? So that they can have forgiveness for their sin, right? Good, good. That's what the Bible says, right? That's what the Bible says, right? Right. So now let's see. Well, if repentance is only for Israel, how do we repent? If the Most High God made this special thing for us so that we could be forgiven for our sins, because what's the judgment for sin? Oh no, it's death. Then. The judgment for sin is death. So the Most High God said, you know what? I love you so much. I'm going to give you a way out. This is your way out. Read what you got. First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Oh. Get out. If they sin against thee. If they, that's the children of Israel. Remember this, okay? Jeez. If the children of Israel sin against the Most High God. Read. For there is no man that sinneth not. There is no man that can say they have not sinned. All of us have sinned. The difference between what the men you see here and other people outside the world, we understand that because we sin, we fell into these things we call uh, curses. Right. The Bible called curses. We went into slavery. We, we understand that. We understand the only way to get out of this is to repent from that sin. So right. what are we doing? We're repenting. We're working on repentance. What we're trying to teach you is. Understand? Read. And thou be 
angry with them uh -huh. and deliver them to the enemy. Do you think the Most High God was angry with us? He could have been. Read that part again. And thou be angry with them. So he said, if we sin against him and God be angry with us, what will happen? And deliver them to the enemy. Say God would deliver us to the enemy. Did God deliver us to our enemies? Okay. He did. Hold on, then. I want you to understand how to repent now. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. So we've been scattered all across the world. Read. Verse 47. Come on. Yet, and they shall bethink themselves. Understanding that we are the children of Israel. That's bethinking ourselves, remembering who we are. Because the Bible tells you that this stuff only happened to the children of Israel. Right. Nobody else under the heavens, under the sky. You understand? Read. Right. Yet, and they shall bethink themselves. Come on. In the land, where did they were carry captives? Whether it's here in America, whether it's in Brazil, whether it's in Portugal, whether it's in Australia, we ought to remember that we are the children of God. Dennis, you are not a so-called black man. Right. You are of the children of Israel, Dennis. Right. Right. That's right. And repent. And do what? And repent. So this is what you said, Dennis. We must repent. Now the Most High God is going to help you further understand how to repent. The first step is to remember that you are the children of Israel. The greatest people ever walk the planet Earth. Right. You're not black. You're not color. Your pants is black, Dennis. Are you? Are you? Your pants the same thing? Get out. No. So he said, must repent. Read and make supplication unto thee. I'm sorry. Read that again. And make supplication unto thee. We need to make an earnest plea unto the Most High God because we understand that we've done wrong. You understand? Read. In the land of them that carry them captive, saying, we have sinned. Saying what? We have sinned. We must confess to the Most High God that we have sinned. If you have stolen, Dennis, you have say, Most High God, you know, I stole, I was wrong for that. If you were shaving your beard off, you have to understand, Tell the Most High God I was wrong because I used to shave my beard. I thought it was okay, but now that I understand your laws, I was supposed to have a beard. I'm going to grow a beard on my face, and I'm going to keep that beard. Right, right. I didn't know that according to your laws, I was supposed to have fringes on my garment, folks. But now that I know that, I'm going to do this. Right. Bring it out. You understand, Dennis? I heard you, brother. Read. And I've done perversely. All of the evil that we've done was perverse to the Most High God. Read. We have committed wickedness. Read. And so, return unto thee. This is what repentance is. Returning to the Most High God as an Israelite. Right. Not right. as a black man. Because you ain't going to find black in the kingdom of heaven. Right. right. The kingdom of heaven got 12 gates. Not now one of them say black, Dennis. Right. Get out. Right, look, keep jumping. All right, make sure you look on that flyer. The information to contact us is on that flyer, Dennis. Today, life and death has been set before you, Dennis. You know right, you know wrong. You have to choose. Give me that. Deuteronomy 32 or 30, which one is it? 30 and 18. Let me get that. Let me get that. Read. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 18. Bring it out. Everybody under the sound of the voice of this microphone. You so-called blacks, Spanish, and Native American today, life and death has been set before you. Read. Right. Verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Read. That I have set before you life and death. Life and death is set before you. You sisters walking across the street right now. Today, this day has been called before you because the, so, the true prophets of God is standing before you and letting you know that life and death is set before you. Read. Right. Blessing and cursing. The blessings are cursing. Choose to keep God's commandments and you'll be blessed. Continue to stay in your wickedness and you're going to continue to suffer these curses. Read. Right. Therefore, choose life that both down and thy seed may live. Let me ask you a question, sister. If somebody had a gun in your head and told you you want to live or die, what you going to say? A people spit with me. Now let, let, no, I guarantee you, if my hair was blonde and my skin was pale, 
she would have stopped and talked to me for about 30 minutes. Bring it out. But because she see real men standing up telling her to choose what, we ain't even telling you that, hey, you know, it's up to you. We telling you according to God, right. choose life. Right. Read it again. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Come on. And I have set before you life and death. Life and death is set before every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American standing out here today. Right. Read. Blessing and cursing. Come on. Therefore, choose life. God said do what? Choose life. What is your life? How are you going to get life? By keeping these commandments. Right. These commandments is what give you life. Right. What's going on, bro? How you doing today? He wants to know if we can actually be perfect. He said, by thought, word, and deed, can we really be perfect? That's what That is an awesome question, my brother. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan? Yes, sir. I'm Elisha. Nice to meet you. Yes, That's an awesome question. Can we be perfect? I'm going to tell you what God tells us, what and how we can. If, what's, give me, what's the one with, uh, with Christ said, be perfect? Five, 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 give me that. Give me that. Matthew 5. Let's see. Because... When you believe in Christ? You believe in Christ? Yeah. yeah. So, do you believe Christ will lie to you? No. So, if Christ tell you to do something, I'll say you can't do something, that means you should be able to do it, right? Depends on, depends on the context. Depends on the context. All right, let's see what the context says. Come on. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Yeah. Be ye therefore perfect. What did Christ say? Be ye therefore perfect. What did Christ say? Be ye therefore perfect. Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So Christ said to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. So if Christ is telling you to be perfect, don't you think that it should be a way to do that? Read Romans 3.23. We can read that. We can read that. But what's your, what's your point of saying that? My point is that yeah. per perfection uh -huh. is mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and spirit. Uh huh? Wait, is, what's that? Is, is God holy? Is God holy? Yeah. Are is you God holy? righteous? Me? Yeah. Outside of God, no way. Well, God said that His people are holy. Read. Read. But who makes us holy? What is Romans. Read. Romans chapter three, verse twenty-three. Look it out. For all have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. Okay, so what's your purpose of saying? All has sinned and come short of the glory of God. Uh -huh. So, yeah, we so, all have sinned. So, so, so you're saying because we've sinned, we're not perfect? That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, let me ask you this. Was David perfect? Nobody was perfect except Christ. Nobody was perfect? Nobody was perfect. Except Christ. Nobody was perfect. Except Christ. Are you sure, brother? Except Christ. Except Christ. I want Joe and I want David. Give me Joe. Give me Joe. We're going to see what God said. That's Let right. God be true in every man. What? A liar. Read. Job chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. Hey. There was a man in the land of us whose name was Job. Uh-huh. And that man was perfect. That man was what? Was perfect. That man was what? Was perfect. That's right. God That's said right. Job was perfect. That's hey. right. What's the word about David? Oh, you said no man was perfect. No. No man was perfect. What the Bible just said? Context. Huh? Pick up the context. You're not reading in the context. The context is clear as day, brother. No, it's not. The man was perfect. How much more context do you need? If Job was perfect, then why did he rebel against God? If David was perfect. When did Job rebel against God? When God took his family. When when Job oh, lost everything, oh, he questioned God. Oh, oh, oh. Break it out. Break it out. Break it out. When? What a script back? Pull the script. Give me a bite. I want to see that script. God. I want to see that script. God allowed Satan to take to take his family uh -huh. to destroy his business uh -huh. and destroy his livelihood. Uh -huh. God allowed Satan. Okay. Right? Right? And did not Job, you tell me, did not Job eventually question God. And God said, Who are you to question me? I'm the creator of everything. David, we all know. David struggled with you said that God. Job rebelled against God. That's oh yeah, he said. questioned him. Oh yeah. You said Job rebelled against God. Oh yeah. You, you already got this. What script is that? I don't. I, I read never Job. read that. 
Y'all, I done read the whole book of Job. I ain't enough. read not damn okay, okay, scripture enough. in Job that say he rebelled against God. Context, man. God, he questioned God and said, God, because because you allowed this to happen, I don't know if I can trust you. David, he, he was a murderer. I, I've never seen Read it. Read it. Read it. I, I've never seen read what it. Job said, I don't know if I can trust you, God. Read it. Because you're not reading the context. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's see what God said. Yeah, read it. Let's see. You believe in the Bible, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I believe reading the Bible in the proper context. Okay. Which apparently you don't. Yeah, yeah, You're going to read, read the context, wait. Yeah. Two, chapter 27 and verse 5. God forbid that I should justify you till I die. I will not remove my integrity from me. Say what? What did Joe say? I will not remove. He said until I die. Until I die, I will not remove my integrity from me. Job did not rebel from the Most High God. Right, right. The scripture is plain as day. If it is, give it to me. Give me a Bible. Give me a Bible. Job 1 and verse 21 and 23. Now you said that they was not, you said his children was not in sin for, for celebrating their birthday. Mm -hmm. Well, let's find out. Job chapter 1. Get it. Job 1. Verse 5. 1 and 5. Read. Job chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. and, it, and it was so when the days of their feast. Uh, 4. I'm sorry. Job chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And his sons when they feasted in their house. Uh -huh. Everyone his day. Everyone what? Everyone his day. Even yourself admitted uh -huh. that his day is his birthday. That's a day that's special to him. Right. So they went and feasted everyone his day. Read. And sick and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. So what is that? They having a birthday party. Get out. Same thing we all we all done. Birthday party. I got you. Hold on. Don't read it. Hold on. Read it. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. And it was so when the days of that feasting were gone about, uh -huh. that Job sit and sanctified them. Let's see why. And rose up early in the morning uh -huh. and offered burnt offerings uh -huh. according to the number of them all. Why did we put up, send up offerings to the Most High God for what? We're still talking about Job here. We're still talking about Job. Why did we send up offerings to God? Well, to repent or to give thanks. Okay, let's find out why he was sending up all. Can you read verse 6, please? For Job said, okay. it may be that my sons have sinned. My sons did what? That's have right. sinned. That's their right. sons did what? Have sinned. By right. doing what? Right. Celebrating everyone his day. Right, right, right. So Job's sons and daughters was killed because they was in the midst of sin, celebrating their birthday. Right, right. right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.